On the left, with the People's Republic of China, we got number one, Li, number two, Bing, number three, Shen, number four, Lin, number five, Su, number six, Shen, number seven, Xi, number eight, Shen, number nine, Bai, and number ten, Sheng, and with coach Wang. Well, we see first ball possession for the other uh, other team. That other team is made up out of number two, De Bray, number three, Brusher, number four, Berger, number five, Hoots, number seven, Hardy, number eight, Marx, number nine, Truby. And coaches Witten and Wei we Ji. Well, we see already a lot of pressure now on the People's Republic of China. Now falling back to their more static defense. I get why South Africa is really trying to pressure the People's Republic of China because those team of that team have has have has had some trouble with that if you've seen more matches of them you know what I'm talking about second line shot over the goal means ball possession goes to South Africa So far in this tournament, the People's Republic of China sadly has have lost everything, but this should be a very good opportunity. Advantage being given for a defensive foul, but not really that harsh of a foul that they had to that the ball had to be taken somewhere on the pitch where the foul was happening. Oh, nice pass there. But sadly, Truby couldn't catch it. Couldn't catch the ball from Burger, but it was also a bit high. Oh, nicely done. Still, so, still ball possession for South Africa. Oh, nicely deflected by the People's Republic of China's defense. So far, as I was saying, People's Republic of China have lost everything. But this is on paper a very exciting match as well. And I'll explain to you, because the South Africa, they did win against Hong Kong China. But so far they haven't won anything else. But to make it more exciting, we are now in a pool with five teams. And joining these teams that you already see on the pitch, we have Japan, Singapore and Australia. And so far Japan is leading this pool with six game points and a goal difference in their favor of 12. Australia is actually second, but they have played one less game. They did win, however, that one game that they played and their goal advantage is five. Singapore has won one match as well, but has a goal difference of minus five. And at the bottom of this pool are actually South Africa and the People's Republic of China. So this is really battling to uh, decide who will end up going for place 19 or 21. It is a bit at the bottom at the top. Well, we see a faraway shot.
Pass through the middle, again deflected by the People's Republic of China. Good pass to the right there, bit of a long pass. Trying to reach, or actually way through the defense of the People's Republic of China. Again. And another attempt. They really do get the ball there, but whatever they try, they can't reach Shen, the goalie of China. Now with Berger and with Truby trying to breach that defense and again they reach Truby. Pedal foul was made. You see how many <laughs> Even with four pedals, there were, you, s you would say there was no room, and, well, you're all correct, but still the number of nine player Truby could find the inside <laughs> of the, of the, uh, the roof of the goal. Well, we see a very nice shot just now, but again deflected by Shen. The goalie of the People's Republic of China has really grown in this tournament. Again they reach Truby and again they can't seem to find a score. Really Shen is saving the People's Republic of China right now. I must admit that I do find it a bit strange that Truby could get that ball there so many times. So the People's Republic of China should really focus on keeping that player out of their defense. And again, Shen, it's, it's completely amazing this. How many chances do they get? And it are, and it, it isn't that there aren't good chances. It, it's it's really one v one. You would say eventually they will make it, but still, I mean, the the percentage of the goal being kept clean. Yes, like, as I was saying, eventually they will pass it. Now by number eight from South Africa marks. But how many chances they got for it? It was completely insane. I mean that goalie from China. Really pulling his way there. Very impressive. South Africa using a 1-2-2 defense, but using a lot of pressure, trying the Chinese men and making a slip up, slip ups like that, so they can actually gain ball possession. There should be another goal. Yes, they should. Well, number five 
scored the goal, but also number five from China, Xu, got a warning, but Hoots scored that goal. And we're going again. Again, a lot of pressure from South Africa in making the People's Republic of China make a mistake of their own. Oh, nicely done there by number three from South Africa, Busher. But as long as you get Shen under your goal. Ah, this was a different situation. Again, very nicely put into the net by number five, Hoots again. We're actually here with our two referees as well. They are the ones in white. There are James Mitchell from New Zealand and Maurizio Pelli from Italy. Oh, second line shot deflected now by Hoots. Better foul made while well, we see the last few seconds. This me marks the half time. So we got another 10 minutes of excitement ahead of us, but not before we have a three minutes rest period. Well, we actually see some of the players pouring water over them and over them because it is very, very warm here, also very humid, which makes the heat that much more. Thank you to our main sponsors, International Color Federation, China Kano Association, Wuhao City, the Xin County, Yupin Sports, Group Co Group, the Tour Sports and Kalias. Hello and welcome back at this men's match between South Africa and the People's Republic of China. And we're off. Well, there was a mistake being made at the People's Republic of China side. So ball possession goes to South Africa, number three, Butcher. We will count this as a victory, of course. Oh. 
quick pass to the middle and they pass Shang this time and uh, that is why Bai was under the goal this time South Africa very quickly gaining the advantage in this half by scoring another quick goal, making the lead 4 to 0. Very easily w went through the defense there. Oh, actually, very quickly done that. Well, we now hear the Chinese supporters more and more. Chinese man really trying to reach the defense there. Trying to pressure the South, uh, the Chinese man in making a mistake. They set a new 60 seconds, but it's not counted there. Other than that. Number two actually gets a card. A power play situation like every time because he was pedaling in the body of his opponent and that's not allowed most of our rules that we have in Canapolo are just purely for safety second line shot deflected the by the South African man you often see this happen that when there is a green card the defending team just gets really close to their own goalie. Trying to make as much room between the offense and their own goal. Or ensuring that they really possess those first few meters because those are the most dangerous. And the rest they leave up to their goalie, I was going to say. But this one was very nicely blocked by a combination of the pedals of Hoots and Hardy. For me it's just completely insane to think that some of these teams have a traveling distance over a thousand kilometers just to get to each other. Well we see an offensive foul being made at the People's Republic of China should focus now on that there are still only four players of South Africa but they choose to go back to their own goal and if I was South Africa I would just take this time for not for granted but apparently you can quite perfectly score with just four players against five this time by Hardy this does mean that they are still with four players because a power play of course only counts towards the other team if they score a goal otherwise it would be a very strange system so you see again the South African men really protecting the closest they can to their own goal it's fun to see that the, the game really changes if you are with four persons or with five people second line shot very nicely caught there stopped by marks the goalie so fast break opportunity now very nicely done i mean of course number three from south africa booker gets the points under his name but let's be honest the real hero there was the 
player that gave them that opportunity, so the pass. It was really safe, get the room, pass and finish, done. And if I'm not mistaken, the South Africa actually managed to score twice in the time they were with four people, which is very strange. Number three, got a warning also for making a boat fault. Quick passes now for the Chinese. Really trying to get to their man in their defense. Can't really get to his shot. Mr. Sheng, number eight of China. South African men actually using a different defense than just now. Well, we see a lot of pressure of the Chinese men there. With a bit of a misstroke of the pedal. High pass, very nicely done. Now with two people again in trying to breach the defense. Surprising to see that there is even a third goalie at this moment. Very effective at least. Shen. Because I now have seen players number three, six and nine under the goal from China. Normally you would only use only your best at the moment. And I was really thinking that player number three, Shen, was doing a very good job in the first half. With just over three minutes left, South Africa has really been controlling this match. Well, they got another opportunity for a fast break here. Probably playing a bit slower now, because they don't really have to. Because in this pool, with this win, they will actually advance to the third position. They are currently fourth, but their goal difference is not that big just yet to get to Austria. Sorry, Australia. And another goal in favor of South Africa. Very nicely made use of the space between the defenders and the goalie. So in this pool, currently Japan is leading with two very big wins. Australia has won, but also has just played one match, like South Africa. The best these teams can achieve is 13th place. We'll, we'll see a lot of movement now in the defense of South Africa here. Pass nicely intercepted there means that they can pressure a lot on the Chinese men now because 10 seconds remain on the shot clock they really should work towards that shot here not just shoot from second line oh nicely caught oh with a bit of a stumble oh that was such a bummer because it was such a nice caught one with just over one minute 20 left Seven goal difference in favor of South Africa. 
Actually an offensive foul being made, so ball possession switches to South Africa. It's interesting to see. Nice long ball, but it was just a bit too far, but nice control still. Bit of room here on the left. They don't have to shoot and score. Cold reference sure would be nice. Go for the next still part of this group phase. Again, shot deflected from Truxi. Truby, sorry. Battle foul being made by the People's Republic of China. 1v1. Oh, the bottom bar. Only 13 seconds. Shot clock is the correct clock. Last few seconds. Can they get towards the goal? No, that was just a bit too far to the side. And that buzzer means that's the end of the match. Next up will be New Zealand. Ooh, versus France in the women's. That will be brought to you by Carl. And one thing I know for certain is that's something you can enjoy. Thank you very much for listening. After we just seen South Africa win from China and making a very important step towards ensuring the best position 